it means so much. My friend and I came here 25 years ago for the dedication of it, and one of the most moving things we did was march down Constitution Avenue with all these men lining the streets, saluting us and calling out thanks. And all we did was cry the whole way down Constitution Avenue. Well, it's the recognition of you know, all the women, not only nurses, but the Red Cross and other services that were there. It, it means a great deal, and I was always a little bit embarrassed because I was never in country. I was a little too young for that. And I, and I just sort of stayed back in the, in the back, and since then I have felt more and more a part of the, the Women's Vietnam uh, group. To have a place where we can come and share and remember and be honored. When you go to look at the memorial, you need to do this. If you look face on, there's the three figures are touching in some way. If you go to the back of the memorial, that woman hunkered down is by herself. No one's touching her. And that's how we felt sometimes over there, alone. Even amongst people, we felt alone. And then you need to get down on your knees and look up under her boonie hat and look at her face. It's powerful. It's not just nurses, because immediately when you say you served in Vietnam, people think in the military and, uh, and you're a nurse, and I'm neither. I was a civilian recreation program director, and um, the gal who's kneeling is supposed to be the civilian woman. And Linda Goodacre said that she is the heart and soul of the peace, because she has the look of despair and frustration. Uh, the other two are doing something active. One of them's looking in the sky for the helicopter, the other one's holding the soldier. But the one who's kneeling is supposed to be us. We were feeling all the emotions of all of us who were there. Because I'm the founder of the Vietnam Women's Memorial, the greatest joy for me, it's, it, it is, it's just pure joy, is seeing these other women and how much the memorial means to them, because that's what it was for. It was for them. It was to help them heal. It was to bring us together. So when I see the tears and the joy and the happiness of the Red Cross women, the journalists, all the women, not just the nurses, saying thank you for this memorial, I did what I set out to do. And it was hard work. It was 10 years. It wasn't easy. But I look back and I say now it was worth it. We were worth it. They were worth it. They deserve this.